All right. This is what I didn't didn't used to have this head before 20 years ago when I met Saint, but uh, there's a lot of musical connections here. We you can see that, right? So there's passion in music. People have met through music, so you're going to probably hear a lot about that. First and foremost, so Megan and Erica and Hoffs, Maxon, Kevin, Chucky, Richter, Dustin, Showbiz. Remember all these people, I, I, I've seen faces from a long time ago that I haven't seen in a while. Um, but music's family, life's hard. Dustin speaks about how that can be hard, right? Being in a band, going on tour, friction, challenges. They're family though. You can hear it in Dustin's heart as he's talking about, about Steve. He missed him, right? Probably a little bit of regret there maybe, I don't know, but I can tell you love him. Richter, I know you love him. Uh, I loved him. It's been a long time since I'd seen him. Kevin introduced me to, and the band, uh, we wrote a song called Cruiser Love together. And as everybody's talking about his ability, right? Musical ability, his cadence, his ability to deliver a clever rhyme. Has anybody been on the other side of the barricade when Steve's on stage? Has everybody looked at our side stage even, whatever? You see the vision in his eyes when he looks at the crowd, but when he steps off the stage, he gives you a hug and he has a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Right, so I was a fan first. I heard Bump, I heard Dog's Life, moved to San Diego, saw the spade, Kevin introduced me, he walked in the studio, he lit up the room. We wrote a song, I wrote the worst rap verse on my own song. I'm telling you, it was terrible, I was, it was cheesy. And so when he came in and delivered his, his verse, it took that song to that next level. For me, that was like, all right, I get it, I see what you're doing. I know I gotta jump into a, a character so there's Steve Thronson, the person that we all know, the family knows. There's Saint Dog the Sinner, right? He's got that thing that goes back and forth. And if you're a singer or band, I think you get that. You get that ability to be on a stage and feel like someone else for a moment. And you get back off stage and you kind of turn back right down to the person. So if you've talked to him and you saw him on stage, you probably wouldn't believe the way he sounded when he got off. Uh, but for me, he was a bigger than life personality. Everybody knows his smile, it's right here, right? Look at that. It's bigger than that. But Max, and I'll tell you, I've, I've, we did a little tribute, right? And I've seen your video that you put together. I don't think I've seen a smile as bright as when you're sitting with him, when, he's, when you're laying on his chest, right? I'm a father. I got two kids. I get this. It hits hard for me. But I could tell there was no brighter smile in Saint's eyes, Steve's eyes, with those pictures with you, all right? So I know how much he loved you. I just want you to hear that. In case it wasn't clear as day, I know it is. But, uh, and by the way, Max, it has St uh, Saints Galaxy still. And so uh, he promised me he'll let me see it and get in. Still got the flames on the panels. So hopefully we see that. But uh, it's a tough day. It's tough for Megan, tough for Erica. I love you guys. In fact, we haven't talked in a long time. And I, I know we're going to talk a lot more now, right? Can't wait to have a barbecue and, and sit back and joke and tell the good stories. Because there's a lot of good stories. I bet everybody here has a great story when they when they interact with Saint. So we love you. We're gonna miss you. All you guys in the musical family around here, much respect to all of you. And uh love you. Thank you.